46 Kitetsu section 1 He who brings out an evil name the faithful shepherd begins Kitetsu by talking about people who defame someone's character and how they must be punished. He refers in this context to a person who defames a virgin of Israel to the spies who went out and gave false reports about the land they saw and to Esther who was worthy of the Holy Spirit. He says that those who know only the surface or revealed interpretation of the Torah know nothing of its mysteries. They are poor in knowledge and are referred to as riding upon an ass. They are from the aspect of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Moses talks about the mystery of Esther and her relationship with the Shechina who gives a person many special attributes. Esther was protected from Ahasuerus just like Sarai was protected from the Pharaoh. The faithful shepherd returns to the issue of defamation and says that those who speak ill of the Shechina will be stricken in their souls. He talks about the righteous man with whom things do not go well and the evil man with whom they do. We learn that when the Torah was given, the first tablets that were broken were comparable to virginity and that they testified to the whole Torah. The Torah's groom Moses broke her virginity next to Elijah and all the heads of the Yeshiva blessed the faithful shepherd. Elijah speaks to Moses about his role and the role of Abraham in relationship to Malchut. He says that Moses spoke out against Israel when they made. The golden calf and thus he defamed Malchut Rai Mahim the faithful shepherd one and they shall find him a hundred shekels of silver to Barum 2219 we are commanded to punish whoever defames someone's character this is the meaning of and they shall find him a hundred shekels of silver and give them to the father of the girl because he has brought out an evil name upon a virgin of Israel the faithful shepherd said sages this applies to after the wedding since he says I found not your daughter a virgin of it 17 not all evil names are alike since the spies who spread an evil name on the land were punished for it by dying and not writing it a woman is like ground which is why the spies were considered as one defaming the character of a woman it is like the explanation that Esther was the ground to you may say that Esther has a bad reputation by saying that she was defiled with Ahasuerus yet she was worthy that the Holy Spirit which is Malchut would be clothed in her as Written Esther put on her royal apparel Esther 51 in that case you are bringing out an evil name on Malchut yet the Holy One blessed be he said I am Hashem that is my name and my glory will I not give to another neither my praise to carved idols Yeshua 428 which is the Shechina called name glory and praise the Holy Spirit is the Shechina and is a name that was clothed with Esther how can you say she was defiled with Ahasuerus 3 yet sages woe to those who eat the chaff and ears of corn of the Torah that is whose Torah is mixed of good and evil like chaff and ears of corn that are a mixture of food and clipot such a man knows nothing of the mysteries of the Torah but only light and weighty precepts the light is the chaff of the Torah namely the refuse and the weighty precepts of the Torah are we which contains both food and refuse chet and ted of wheat have are the refuse and hay is good this is the secret of the tree of knowledge of good and evil as the sages Said that the tree of knowledge of good and evil was we for it is not the custom of the king and the matron to ride a donkey had chamber namely the literal understanding had chamber of the Torah which is we and the tree of knowledge of good and evil as mentioned instead they ride on horses the secret of the mysteries of the Torah this is the meaning of you ride upon your horses your chariots of salvation Shabbat 38 for Malchut is not treated lightly so as to have the queen ride on a donkey and even more so the king for it is no place for commoners and servants that is Metatron that is called a commoner and a servant whose way is to ride a donkey this is why it says of Messiah when Israel will have no merit humble head on and riding upon an ass Zechariah 99 on he stands for the mission orders of Arab and and Yavamoth the initials of which form on and for the rest of the orders of the mission are comprised in these which indicates that as long as one does not know the mysteries of the Torah but only the revealed Torah one is poor in knowledge and riding upon an ass which is the aspect of the tree of knowledge of good and evil the holy one blessed be he is not considered a king until he rides on his horse which is the congregation of Israel namely Malchut according to the secret of I compare you O my love to a mirror of the chariots of Pharaoh Shur Hashirim 19 which is holy good without any evil five the holy one blessed be he outside his places not a king when he returns to his place Hashem shall be king Zechariah 149 it is said of Israel as well that all Israel are princes like the father the children are not princes until they return to the land of Israel you may say that he who rides a donkey is a commoner and he answers though he is a commoner in relation to his master do not treat lightly a blessing from a commoner for this commoner is the servant Metatron and it is he who rides this donkey the first man who did not keep it Glory he was given by eating of the tree of knowledge of good and evil was brought down to eat together with his donkey which is the aspect of the tree of knowledge of good and evil and he said to the holy one blessed be he I and my donkey shall eat from the same trough Issachar merited this donkey by being called Issachar is a strong ass spear she 4914 because he subdued this donkey called a strong Hadgarim ass by bringing him down the staircase Hadgarim 6 the sages who wrote it. Mishnah said that it is said of the matron who is Malchut and his kingdom rules over all Tehillim 10319 since she rules over the clipot as well therefore after Esther put on the royal apparel in accordance with the secret of the verse Esther put on her royal apparel had Malchut Esther ruled over Ahasuerus and his people and it is said of them and slew of their foes Esther 916 if you say that Ahasuerus mated with her heaven forbid though they were in the same house she did not mate with him. But was like Joseph of whom it says, and she laid up his garment had Bigdo by her bear. She 3916. The word Bigdo is employed, which is derived from traitors have dealt treacherously had Bagdo. Yeshayah 2416. This is his most outer aspect, which the clipot can be attached to seven. There is a great mystery here, which is why Esther is derived from mystery. Have said, as written, you are my hiding place. Have said, her tail 327. Since the Shechina hid her from Ahasuerus and gave him a female demon. Instead, while she returned to Mordecai's arm, and Mordecai, who knew the explicit name and the seventy tongues, did all this with wisdom. This is why the sages of the Mishnah stated that even regardless of this, a man must speak with his wife before he mates with her, because she might have been exchanged with a female demon. Eight, this is true for a woman who comes from the aspect of the tree of knowledge of good and evil, and an exchange with a female demon applies to her, but if she is from it, Shechina she remains unchanged this is the meaning of for I am Hashem I do not change Malachi 36 I is the Shechina who has no fear from the other sides namely the clipot this is the meaning of all nations before him are as nothing Yeshayah 4017 9 wherever the Shechina is there are many special attributes and since the Shechina was clothed in her Esther was worthy of having special things done to her like Sarah whom the Holy One blessed be he kept and since the Shechina was with her he kept her from Pharaoh the Holy One blessed be he even made her clothes and jewels have special qualities due to the Shechina that was with her for that reason when Pharaoh came to touch her sandal the angel struck him with it and the same happened with all her jewelry each jewel he would touch struck him until that defiled one left her and brought her back to her husband ten if this is true for her jewels it is much more so that whoever touched her body even her finger for the Purpose of mating then and the stranger that comes near shall be put to death. Bimid bar 151 since the Holy One blessed be he did not give him permission to come near her. This is the meaning of I am Hashem that is my name and my glory will I not give to another. Yeshayah 428 11 for that reason not every spreading of an evil name is the same. The spies who defamed the land of Israel died. Those who speak ill of the Shechina are most certainly struck in their souls for those who spoke ill. About the land were struck bodily and committed suicide but whoever defames the Shechina his soul is stricken. This applies to whoever knows the secret of bringing out an evil name on the Shechina and whose eyes are open but a person whose eyes are shut is not punished as severely 12 as for what the sages of the Mishnah said to them that a raped wife is permitted to remain with her husband permission and prohibition in the Mishnah speak only of human matters and a woman who is from it. Tree of knowledge of good and evil, but the case of a woman who is from the tree of life is not as that of those from the tree of knowledge of good and evil, since whoever is from the tree of life is a righteous person with whom things are well of him. It is said, No evil shall happen to the just Mishlei 1221, nor to his just wife. We learned that from Sarah in the house of Pharaoh, that he had no permission to come near her. 
given her tablets that were likened to virginity were broken just as virginity is a testimony to the virgin's honesty so the tablets that were given before the eyes of all Israel were a testimony to the whole Torah and the Holy One blessed be he again gave her to Israel to keep her and the oral Torah is called Halacha given to Moses on Sinai Moses was therefore called the bride's groom of the Torah and the groom of the Torah broke her virginity which is the first set of tablets whoever speaks ill of her and says that Torah is not like the first one since her tablets were broken the Holy One blessed be he will speak to him who is the girl's father namely of that daughter who is implied in the word Bereshit in the beginning since Bereshit is spelled with the letters of Bat Rashi and the daughter of my head to indicate that the Torah is the king's daughter and the Holy One blessed be he spoke and they shall spread the cloth Devarim 2217 and the parchment of the Torah. Scroll unfolds and they shall see that it is written in it. Hew for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and I will write upon these tablets the words that were on the first tablets which you did break. Shema 341 15. Immediately Elijah rose with all the heads of the Yeshiva and they blessed him. And Elijah said to the faithful shepherd, Sinai, Sinai, it would have been worthy for us to listen to your words and be silent yet with permission from the Holy One. Blessed be he and his. Shechina, I wish to say something to you in your honor. He said to him, Speak 16. Elijah opened and said, Faithful shepherd, the Holy One, blessed be he gave this bride of yours, namely Malchut, to Abraham to bring up for you. And since he kept her, she is called his daughter. This is what is meant by the saying that Abraham had a daughter whose name was Bakola. And all by her he observed the whole Torah, even to the air of Toshalan in action, allowing one to cook on holiday for Shabbat. This is the Meaning of and kept my charge, Bereshit 265, and he brought her up as written, and he brought up Hadassah, Esther 27, and the Holy One blessed be he blessed him for her sake as written, and Hashem had blessed Abraham in all things had the goal, Bereshit 241, he brought her up with every good virtue and was charitable to her, he raised her to greatness with the quality of kindness, Jesus of Abraham, his house was for her sake, wide open to do kindness to all the people of the world, 17, since he was kind to her when Abraham's children were exiled because of their many iniquities in Egypt, the Holy One blessed be he said, Faithful shepherd, go and be kind to him who did kindness by you, since I gave him your bride who was Malchut to raise with good qualities, and he raised her by drawing her 13 attributes of mercy implied in the three words Vav, Hav, Alah, Nanyad, Vav, Hav, which are the initials of Vav, since the 72 names are comprehended in them as the first of the 72 names is Vav. Hey Bob, the middle one is Allah Nun Yud, and towards the end is the second Bob. Hey Bob, 72 is the numerical value of Shesed with which Abraham overcame the 72 nations, which are the 70 nations Esau and Ishmael through your bride, namely Malchut. He had a special property through the 72 names after Malchut received them, and he overcame every nation and tongue. 18 for that reason, it is written that caused his glorious arm to go at the right hand of Moses. Yeshayah 6312, which is Malchut, and dividing the water of it by tearing the water into 12 pieces, the numerical value of Bob, Bob and by merit of Allah in the fully spelled Bob, Bob, Allah, Bob, that indicates the illumination of Bada. You turned the sea into dry land, and it the Egyptians drowned who did not believe in the Bob, which is Zeir and which is the numerical value of one in the future to come. It will be fulfilled in Israel, the seed of Abraham, as in the days of your coming out of the land of Egypt. I will show him. Marvelous things, Mishah 715, in you it shall be fulfilled, that caused his glorious arm to go at the right hand of Moses, dividing the water of the Torah to make yourself an everlasting name, Mishah 6312, there you shall attain your bride, 19, since this daughter, namely Malchud, was given to Israel, it is your Halacha from the left side, Halacha attributed to Moses from Sinai, since Halacha is spelled with the same letters as the bride had Hakala, for on the right side, your Halacha is the letter, hey, namely, hey, from the side of the name Abraham, and it is yet from the side of the name Isaac, and everything is hey, yet of the name Elohim, and you are Bob, since Moses is the aspect of Zeir, and which is Bob, which is the full spelling of Malchud, and her perfection, and she is called the full cup, for at first she was the throne of Yud, hey, in which throne had Kesaf, same because no Bob, and the name Yud, hey, is without Bob, hey, at the end it is a cup, had Kosaf, Bob, same, full of it. Blessing of Yod Hey Bob Hey since the cup is full and the name is complete 20 and since Malchud was given through you to Israel who are the central pillar that includes right and left it behooves us to reveal why it was given them for surely we learned why she was given to Abraham because he drew under the attribute of Shesed and you were kind bestowing Shesed to his children just as he was kind to you and the Holy One blessed be he gave her to Isaac to him and his descendants to keep her from the tree of knowledge of good and evil and they made her some boundaries and cut for her some garments golden garments with some laws and they used to disagree and ask questions regarding these laws to supply them with explanations to decorate her with many decorations for Shabbat and holidays to redeem her at the last redemption as it says of her that Hebma which has been Hebshaya it is Hebhu Kahila 19 making the initials of Moses the continuation is missing 21 since. They brought it on you and did good things for you. You have suffered for their sakes many troubles, so that Messiah, the son of Joseph, shall not be killed, of whom it says the face of an ox on the left side. Yeshua 110, who is a descendant of Joseph, of whom it says the first ling of his herd grandeur is his. Devarim 3317. That is because he and his descendants shall not be violated among the heathen nations because of the sin of Jeroboam, who worshipped idols for which he and his seed were to be violated among the idol worshipping nations. For Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, is a descendant of Joseph, and it is because of him that it says of you. But he was wounded because of our transgressions, and by his injury we are healed. Yeshua 53522. And since Israel are included of right and left being of the central column, where your hay and yet are in a state of completion, it behooves you to unite with her with Malchut between them. And since it says of you because he has brought out an evil. Name upon the virgin of Israel, it says of you, and she shall be his wife, he may not put her away all his days. Devarim 2219, namely when she is in exile, he may not be away from her all his days. 23, where is the evil name you brought upon her after Malchut was given to Israel? Whoever brings out an evil name on Israel is as one who brings out an evil name on Malchut, and the evil name was in what you said to the Holy One, blessed be he, Hashem, why does your wrath burn against your people? Shema 3211, namely Israel and the Holy One, blessed be he said, because you spoke ill on Israel when they made the golden calf, go get you down, for your people have become corrupted. But seven, namely your people who are the mixed multitudes whom you converted and who made the golden calf, and therefore because he has brought out an evil name upon the virgin of Israel, then she shall be his wife, as we said. 24, the faithful shepherd rose and kissed him, Elijah, on his face and his eyes, and blessed. Him and he said to him, May you be blessed by the mouth of the Holy One, blessed be he and his Shechinah by each of his attributes and his tents, Farah, and all his names, and all the heads of Yeshiva, and all the angels. And they all answered and said, Amen. And the Holy One, blessed be he and his Shechinah, acknowledged his blessing. Elijah, rise, open your mouth regarding the precepts with me, because you are my assistant in every aspect. For it first says of you, Pinches, the son of Eleazar, the son of Aaron. The priest, Pimid, bar 2511, because Pinches is Elijah, surely he is the son of Aaron, my nephew, as written, and a brother is born for adversity. Mishlei 1717, section 2. If a man find a girl that is a virgin, we read two esoteric explanations of the title verse from which we learn that one must lay hold of one's higher aspect through the agency of the Tefilin and the Tzitzit and the prayers and meditations that are prescribed. People must always study the Torah, even if. Not for its own sake, in order that someday they may come to study it for its own sake, we are also shown that God has seduced Israel and opened for them the fifty gates of mercy and freedom. Even though the Sheshanah is in exile, God will never forsake her. 25. If a man find a girl that is a virgin who is not betrothed, Devarim 2228, this precept is to punish the seducer with fifty shekels of silver. This is the meaning of if a man find a girl that is a virgin who is not betrothed, these are Israel who from the aspect of the Sheshanah are called daughter and lay hold of her and lie with her,
and the unfit after the lad Metatron Malchut is called a girl by whom it will be fulfilled that the wicked might be shaken out of it. Eo 3813 who are the forbidden, the unclean and unfit male and his legions 27 according to another explanation if a man find a girl that is a virgin refers to Yisrael as written when Yisrael was a child then I loved him Hashia 111 and they are called lad from the aspect of Metatron namely their souls are from Bria where Metatron is the man is not. Other than the Holy One, blessed be he has written Hashem is a man of war. Shemot 153 If a man find a girl that is a virgin, namely the virgin of Israel, of whom it says the virgin of Israel is fallen, she shall no more rise. Amos 52 The man is the Holy One, blessed be he who seduced her as written, Behold, I will allure her and bring her into the wilderness. Hashia 216 Then he opened for them fifty gates of freedom, which are the fifty gates of mercy of the side of their father Abraham, who is. She said, This is what is meant by shall give to the girl's father fifty shekels of silver, silver being of the grade of she said, the grade of Abraham. 28 For at the exodus from Egypt, the fifty gates of freedom were opened to them from the side of judgment, which is left, which is Adonai, namely Malchut from the left side, where will I judge? Bear she 1514 Since Adonai contains the letters of judgment, have been for first I judge, and then they shall come out, but at the last redemption, it is said. With great mercies will I gather you, Yeshua 547, which is the great of Abraham, and greatness, which is Jesus, is the great of Abraham, since by the there is called the great hand, and there are fifty shekels of silver there, namely the fifty gates of final later. He may not put her away into exile all his days, because she shall be his wife. This is like the words, and I will betroth you to me forever. Hashia 221, and another verse, for your maker is your husband, Hashem, Seviat is his name. Yeshua 545, you shall no more be termed forsaken, Yeshua 624, for even though the Shechinah is in exile, the Holy One, blessed be, he does not move from her, section 3, and she shall be his wife. We read about the precept for one to marry the woman he violated, an allegory is used to show how the soul reincarnates with its evil inclination from a previous life, and how that evil inclination or demon can be turned back into an angel through repentance and worship some. Students of the Torah are like the ministering angels in that they know about the past and the future. Many other people are like beasts who hate the Torah. Students and sages of the Mishnah 29. The following precept is for one to marry the woman he violated. For surely there are two kinds of violated women since there is one who is violated because he loves her but she doesn't love him. Another is violated because she loves him but fears to mate with him without marriage and being blessed or she doesn't want him if he is a commoner of him it says and she shall be his wife. Devarim 2219.30 In relation to mysteries of the Torah we have to employ an allegory. There is a soul that is a matron namely drawn from Malchut of Atzala and there is a soul that is a handmaid that is drawn from the world of Bria such as in and if a man sell his daughter to be a maidservant. Shema 217 And there is a soul that is a common maid that is from the world of Asiyah and so is man there is a man. Who is a servant to the soul? Sometimes the soul goes by means of incarnation. Since the man sinned with it in a previous incarnation, then the dove found no rest for the soul of her foot. Bear sheet 89. Since the soul finds no rest in him because of the iniquities in the previous incarnation, and the evil incarnation chases it to enter that body which is a mate to the evil inclination that is the force of iniquities from the former incarnation that lies in this body is considered a mate to the evil incarnation. It is a Jewish demon subservient to the evil inclination, and the soul is yet called the Hebrew maid servant, being of the world of Bria, in which this demon have shed becomes shade because it kept the soul and repented through it, and with it blessed the Holy One, blessed be he daily with blessed head bearer, and with it sanctifies the Holy One, blessed be he with holy, 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 and with it declares the unity of the Holy One, blessed be he by Priya SH 31 after doing all this what? Used to be a demon which brings harm, namely the force of iniquities in the body turns around to be its angel of the aspect of Metatron and turned to be Shade because the numerical value of Metatron is that of Shade immediately there is fulfilled in it regarding the soul and she shall be his wife he may not put her away all his days. Devarim 2219 But if he does not repent the soul is enslaved in him through the iniquities he committed and it shall be fulfilled in him the wife and her children shall be her masters. Shema 214 That is the soul will leave him to its root and it says of the demon which is its debtor namely the force of iniquities in the body from the previous incarnation and he shall go out by himself if it that is it shall leave without remedy that demon is like Moses' staff that turns from a staff into a snake and from a snake into a staff so does this demon turn from a demon into an angel and from an angel into a demon according to man's deeds 32 of the demons that come from this, namely the demon that turns into an angel, the sages of the mission explain that some are like the ministering angels, they are the students of the Torah that know what was and what will be, they have their form down on earth, being philosophers, astrologers of Israel who know what was and what will be according to the signs on the sun and moon and their eclipses and each star and constellation in this way they know what is seen in the world. 33 Some of them of the demons are like beasts that increase and multiply like animals and their form below on earth is ignorant people who, as the sages of the mission explain, are vermin and whose daughters are abominable of their daughters. It says, Curse be he that lies with any manner of beast. Devarim 2721 They hate Torah students, sages of the mission who are veritable ministering angels for that reason, the sages of the mission explain about man that if he is as a messenger of Hashem, Seviat, Malachi 27. One should seek Torah out of his mouth, otherwise one must not seek Torah out of his mouth. Section 4109 We read about those people who have knowledge of the mysteries of the Torah and who receive their souls from the aspect of the holy Malchut of Atzalah, including all tense fire. They keep the Torah and the precepts with love and awe of God, not for the sake of receiving any reward. There is also a Malchut of Briah. This is Malchut to the angels in Briah, and she is a maid to Malchut of Atzalah, having her form comprised of tense fire. However, this Malchut may be desecrated because of the sins of Israel. The faithful shepherd says that not all demons are alike, and not all the servants of the Shechinah are alike. She even has some foreign servants of the other side who serve her. 34 There are others who have knowledge of the mysteries of the Torah, men of qualities who receive souls from the aspect of the holy Malchut of Atzalah, which includes ten. Sfirot, whoever receives her and attains her merits, ten indivisible Sfirot, ten not nine, since had they inherited Malchut alone, the nine Sfirot would have been separated from her, but since there is no division there in Atzalat, the author of the Book of Formation said ten not nine, which means that the nine upper Sfirot are never apart from her. Thirty five, you may say that Malchut rises above the ten and is there alone, he answers the explicit name Yadvav Dalat, hey Aleph, Bab Aleph, Bab, hey Aleph, which comprises ten letters, is the ten Sfirot of Zeir and and the ten Sfirot, which are Zeir and unite with her with Malchut, and she does not rise above the ten of Zeir and but never separates from him, hence the author of the Book of Formation says ten not eleven, but whoever joins Yad equals ten, which is the sign of the covenant, which is Yazid with the maid servant, or joins the matron that includes the Yad with the demon of idol worship, that is Samael is punished in Gehenna, thirty six, whoever inherits. The king's daughter who is Malchut merits her only if he is the king's son called Israel is my son my firstborn Shema 422 for from that aspect Israel are called children of the Holy One blessed be he is meant by you are the children of Hashem your Elohim Devarim 141 this is Malchut of Atzalah 37 there is a corresponding Malchut of Briah which is Malchut to the angels in Briah she is a maid to Malchut of Atzalah and her attendant she has the form of her mistress of Atzalah comprised of tense fire this Malchut of Briah because of the iniquities of Israel might be desecrated among the nations of the world but of Malchut of Atzalah of the Holy One blessed be he it says I am Hashem that is my name and my glory will I not give to another neither my praise to carved idols Yeshua 428 for he gives her not to him who desecrates Shabbat and holidays but to him who is the king's son and keeps the Torah and the precepts with love and awe of his master not for the sake of receiving a reward but as a child who is obligated to do his father's bidding of which it says honor your father and your mother Shema 2012 your father is the holy one blessed be he and your mother is the Shechinah nevertheless whoever desecrates the king's maid who is Malchut of
Poison of death they are the female aspect of Samael where the maidservant became the matron namely a maidservant who Samael and his female who is another L were servants to the Holy One blessed be he but later made themselves into deities and the Holy One blessed be he will remove them out of the world and wipe them away forty of you are you that people made them into deities and it was not their own desire why then were they punished by being destroyed from the world and he answers when it Generation of the flood and the generation of the Tower of Babel knew of them. They burned sacrifices to them and bowed before them by the power of burning offerings to them and bowing to them. They would descend upon them and do their bidding and speak through the forms they made. Thus they became deities and idol worship. For that reason, the Holy One blessed be He intended to wipe them away from the world, namely their images that they worshipped, from which they received spirits and images. 41. When mixed multitudes live in the world, Samael and his female descend into those images to be materialized in them. Therefore, the Holy One blessed be He will remove them from the world. This is the meaning of the words. And also, I will cause a unclean spirit to pass out of the land. Zechariah 132. If you say that during the last exile there is no idol worship because people don't know about them, He answers those among the mixed multitudes who do no anger. The Holy One blessed be He and His. Sheshana and Yisrael that are among them and they have success against the mixed multitudes to fulfill the words and repays them that hate him to their face to destroy them. Devarim 710.42 All the Tanaim and Amram rose and blessed the faithful shepherd and said to him Sinai Sinai who could speak before you for you have your master's form when he spoke on Mount Sinai all the living creatures among the angels and all the living creatures of the throne the higher and lower were silent. And there was no other speech but his since you are his son of his form all the heads of the Yeshiva need to hear things from you do not silence your words section 6 and shall cheer his wife whom he has taken we learn of the precept for a man to rejoice in his new bride for a whole year during which he needn't go to war or pay taxes here everything pertains to the mystery of the year that is said to be Malchut and the number 12 is the linkage between the Twelve months the twelve oxen that supported the molten sea the force fire rod in each of three columns and the twelve stones that Jacob took forty-three when a man has taken a new wife he shall not go out to wear and shall cheer his wife whom he has taken to arm two hundred and forty-five this precept is for the groom to rejoice in his wife for one year as written but he shall be free at home one year of it since these twelve months are hers for the year is a bride namely Malchut that is called a year and the bride is present only with twelve months as written and he made a molten sea it stood upon twelve oxen I may lash him seven hundred and twenty-three to twenty-five for the sea is Malchut twelve oxen are the secret of force fire rod chakma by the and Malchut each of three columns which are always twelve and since the bride is perfected only with twelve the groom needs to cheer her and her household her and her equipment as it is above hence it is written of Jacob and he took of the stones of that place Bereshit twenty-eight eleven the place being. Malchut there are twelve stones to that place and whoever cheers the bride cheers her maids her sphirot and briah there are twelve maids for the same reason everything pertains to the mystery of the year for that reason the groom has to rejoice in his bride for one year forty four yet we have explained that this joy is not his but hers is written and shall rejoice with his wife it does not say that he shall rejoice in his wife but shall rejoice with which means that he shall rejoice with the bride similarly the bride has no joy save in the body and her jewels who rejoices with them the righteous does for that reason he shall be free at home free from toiling in worldly matters so that he shall have the desire to rejoice with her he shall be free of all free of taxes crop taxes and full tax he shall be free from going to the army to war so there shall be joy above and below and to evoke joy above blessed is the holy nation whose master rejoices in them blessed are they in this World and blessed they are in the world to come. Section 7 At his day you shall give him his hire. The faithful shepherd says that one must pay his hired servant on time and tells us about Metatron, who is the messenger from the 18 worlds and who receives the 18 blessings of the Amid of prayer. Three times every day we hear about the Shah Charit service, the Minchah service, and the Arvid service, and there is emphasis on charity to the poor. Moses talks about the stranger who is anyone outside his own place, and in a sense, every person on earth is a stranger because his soul has come naked from the other world. Whoever repents and returns his soul to its place is as if he returned God and his Chechen to God's place. Next, the Mishnah sages tell Moses that the two Messiahs cannot redeem Israel without him. Moses says that when reciting the benedictions of the Amid of prayer, a man should at first be as a servant arranging praises before his master and then as a servant receiving wages from his master and then as a servant who received his wages and is now going on his way we hear that God tells Metatron that he will recognize the presence of the Shechinah in the prayer by looking at the purpose of the prayer and seeing if the prayer was said to give pleasure to God. 45 At his day you shall give him his hire. Devarim 2415 The faithful shepherd opened and said the following precept is to give a hired servant his hire in time. This is the meaning of at his day you shall give him his hire neither shall the sun go down upon it. Listen heads of Yeshiva high and low Metatron is the hire of the hired servant a messenger from the 18 worlds being is of Atzala called 18 to receive the 18 blessings of the Amid of prayer from Malchut every day three times a day for that reason at his day you shall give him his hire refers to the Shachariot service neither shall the sun go down upon it refers to the Minchah service. For if the day is past the offering is no longer valid for he is poor but surely he is poor in exile and has nothing but what he is given in prayer for that reason his prayer is a prayer had tefillah of the poor when he faints or raps tefillah 1021 namely the rap of the tzitzit and the hand tefillah that is the prayer of the poor is the hand tefillah or tefillah which is malchut 46 and sets his heart upon it the arm 2415 refers to the arvid service which corresponds to the parts of it sacrifice and the fatty parts that are left from the offerings of the day they are like single grapes of the vineyard and the corners of your field vayikra 199 of which we learned that leaving things over in the form of charity hinders divine punishment you shall leave them for the poor and stranger of ten that is to the central pillar that is zeir and for the central pillar when it is outside its place namely in exile is called a stranger for that reason the faithful shepherd said am I. Great being of the central pillar termed myself a stranger in the first exile this is the meaning of I have been a stranger in a strange land Shema 222 for his E.I.R. and lies in exile for the sake of Israel 47 the sages of the mission asked him faithful shepherd yet Israel performed this precept regarding the corners of the field and the gleaning of the harvest in the land of Israel when the Holy One blessed be he was in his place and not a stranger why is it written for the poor and stranger he said to them this is in order to invoke mercy on those souls driven away from their place for a man outside his own place is called a stranger and all the more so the souls that walk naked from that world and come into this world of them the verse says as a bird that wanders from her nest which is the soul from which the Shechinah does not move so is a man Mishlei 278 the Holy One blessed be he of whom it says Hashem is a man of war Shema 153 wanders from his place. Mishlei 278 roaming and roaming from his place which is the world to come namely Bina and wanders after her after the Sheshana that is the soul in this world until the days that the soul needs to go outside its place are completed he guards it until he returns it to its place and swears he shall not return to his place before he returns it to its own therefore whoever repents and returns his soul to its place is as if he returned the Holy One blessed be he and his Sheshana to his place this is the secret of redemption as it said today even if you will only hearken to his voice Tehillim 957 48 the Mishnah sages of the lofty Yeshiva of the Holy One blessed be he and of the lower Yeshiva of Metatron said faithful shepherd we are messengers of the master of the universe to you blessed is your portion that you are penitent and equal to the 600,000 of Israel and that you return the Holy One blessed be he and his Sheshana to their place above and below due to you Israel will be redeemed and return to their place the two messiahs messiah the son of joseph and messiah the son of david have no power to redeem israel except with you it is because of you that they are held back from redeeming israel finish saying these precious things of which it says more to be desired are they than gold even much fine gold sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb tehillim 19 11, 49, he said to them yeshiva heads for that hired servant who is the servant metatron who comes to receive three prayers your masters of the mission decreed that man should be when reciting the first three benedictions of the
Ibid 14 That is if the purpose of the prayer will be to give me drink to please me then you shall know the Sheshanah is there if it does not but he finds all the body parts full of iniquities and all its intentions during prayer are only for itself alone and not to give me pleasure and there is no whole body part where Torah dwells which is the light of Rash which has the form of the central pillar and no precept which is the light of Nefesh of the form of Ribka namely the Sheshanah who was a Lily among the thorns who are completely evil people he ordered his servant Metatron beware lest you bring my son back there Ibid 6 who is the spirit of holiness since a precept is Nefesh and Rash is Torah meaning that Rash is drawn from Zeir and been called Torah and he does not merit the Rash and Nefesh of holiness section 8 one sphere of sin precedes one's wisdom the sages of the mission have explained that action is more valuable than speech they also said that a person acquires wisdom if he fears sin first and that the Torah will rest on him if he first does all the precepts if he reverses these then he comes from the aspect of judgment suffering and judgment must also precede mercy as the suffering so the reward we hear what Moses role will be during the last exile 52 for that reason the sages of the mission explained that action not talk is more valuable in another place they said that one whose fear of sin precedes his wisdom is wisdom prevails one's fear of sin is supernalia may that is called repentance chakma is supernalaba and when one precedes small he namely malchut which is the precepts the Torah which is zeir and that is bob rests on him and when he places fear which is upper hay before chakma chakma rests on him which is yud and he is called a son namely the son of yud hey hence you are the children of hashem your elohim devarim 141 53 this is this is my name hashem yud hey forever and this is my memorial have zikri shema 315 bob hashem plus yud hey in numerical value 365 and zikri plus bob hey in numerical value 248 all together have the numerical value of 613 namely the 613 commandments given to the holy children so they will have a portion in his name this is the meaning of for hashem's portion is his people devarim 329 54 when one puts the Torah before the precepts or wisdom before fear the name turns for him into the female aspect into the attribute of judgment thus hey bob hey yud for when the name is written straight it indicates the quality of mercy and when it is backward it indicates the quality of judgment everything turns into judgment for such a man and his Torah sustenance is as difficult to acquire as the splitting of the red sea redemption will be similar if they have merit they will come out with mercy as written before her pain came she was delivered of a man child yeshua 667 and they shall come out with mercy it is good if suffering and judgment precede so as to draw mercy which is why the sages of the mission said as the suffering so the reward 55 when the nefesh comes out when it is born into the world it is in pain before it comes out namely labor pain but after it has come out it is in a state of mercy this is the meaning of they shall come with weeping and then and with supplications will i lead them your maya 318 for that reason it is a time of trouble to jacob but he shall be saved out of it your Mayah 307 and they shall come out with mercy just like the Holy One blessed be he sent out the dove as Noah is of the aspect of Yezid but she did not find a place to rest as written but the dove found no rest Bereshit 89 so did he send for you faithful shepherd first he sent for him because he did not find a place to be hidden from him which is why he was revealed to him 56 it is written of them and he looked this way and that and when he saw that there was no man Shema 212 which means he saw they were all guilty and there was no man among them who had the merit to get out of exile for that reason you refused to go there but said send I pray you by the hand of him whom you will send Shema 413 yet now you are like at the time of the exodus from Egypt in you it shall be fulfilled together with Israel as in the days of your coming out of the land of Egypt I will show him marvelous things Misha 715 during the last exile he will send with you two Messiah's Messiah's son of Joseph and Messiah son of David who correspond to the two wings of the dove who is the Shechinah because you are in the fourth exile like a body without wings moreover at first Israel were like a body and you and Aaron like the two wings of the dove with which Israel flew out of exile section 9 each precept includes the tense rod Moses says that every precept has tense rod in it he speaks about the three stories of the ark and the priests love it and Israel he says that the ark is a whole that is the Shechinah is with them we learn that the name Yahweh hey, has dominion over the image of man and over every one of his limbs 57 there is no precept but that has tense rod included in it of the ark it is written with lower second and third stories shall you make it bear sheet 616 to include in it the priests love it and Israel who are Shechinah and Tifer at the ark as a whole which is the Shechinah is with them the Torah of Hashem which is the Sheshanah is the fourth part of a hymn, namely fourth to Chesed Bira and Tiferet, a fourth letter in the name Yud Hey Bab Hey. It is trebled by receiving the three letters Yud Hey Bab to complete it into a name of four letters Yud Hey Bab Hey. Ten grades are included in it, namely it receives them for the sake of Israel, which are Yud Bab Dalat Hey Alat Bab Alat Bab Hey Alat. Ten letters through which it shall be fulfilled in Israel. But you that did cleave of Hashem your Elohim, Devarim 44. And you are the children of Hashem your Elohim, Devarim 141. For this name Yud Hey Bab Hey, fully spelled with Aleph, has dominion over the image of man and over each and every limb of his section. Ten fish and locusts do not require slaughtering. The faithful shepherd says that fish and locusts are permitted to be eaten because they can be gathered without slaughtering. He says this is like the sages of the mission that do not need to be killed by the angel of death, but are gathered up and just as the fish live in the sea and die if they are taken out the students of the Torah die if they are separated from the sea of the Torah we learn that the Kabbalah sages are above all and that they have dominion over the fish of the sea and the birds of the air Moses says that if a younger student who is not yet fit to teach goes out and teaches he must die he also speaks about the sages of Mishnah as being crocodiles and talks about what happens when they disagree 58. The following precept is to discuss the laws concerning locusts we learn that fish and locusts do not require slaughter but it is their gathering that makes it permissible to eat them such are the sages of the Mishnah they do not need slaughtering by the angel of death but it says of them and expired and was gathered to his people Beersheet 4933 just as the fish of the sea live in the sea so do the Torah students and the sages of the Mishnah live in the sea and if they are separated from the Torah they immediately die they are the crocodiles of the mission wherein grow the sea crocodiles and if those who live on dry land namely those who have no Torah in them fall into the water namely into the Torah but cannot swim namely a student who did not become a teacher yet teaches they die but men who are the Kabbalah sages are above all of them it says and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air Bereshit 128 who are the mission sages the crocodiles the great crocodile is the flying head Bariak serpent Yeshayah 271 that corresponds to the middle bar head Bariak in the midst of the board Shema 2628 which is the central column Tiferet 59 when the crocodiles the mission sages have a disagreement among them and ask each other difficult questions one then swallows his colleague like the fish of the sea where the bigger swallows the smaller this concerns a younger student who has not reached the position of teaching yet teaches which is punishable by death but if they are on equal footing both being large and have a disagreement and difficult question it says of them at the end Behav in Sufa Bimid bar 2114 which has been explained to mean love at its end Hev Sofa since Behav means love Hev I have a section 11 and you put your nest in a rock Rav Hamnanasaba who is here referred to as a great fish speaks to the faithful shepherd about the title verse and he says that the Mishnah sages must be strong and have a sharp tongue to bore through to reach the great abyss he tells Moses that he will descend to the great abyss to find the time of the redemption because of his righteousness other sages tried to go there into the depth of the Halachah but did not come back up again as they were not strong enough Rav Hamnanasaba says that whoever pierces the rock without permission will be bitten by a serpent 60 in the meantime a great fish came to him Rav Hamnanasaba and said Faithful shepherd strong habiton is your dwelling place and you put your nest in a rock. Bimidbar 2421 Tanya that is the Tanaim helps you in exile to raise the Shechinah because the fish the Tanaim have their nest in the rock which is Malchut Iton is Tanya written backwards Itanim plural is Tanaim spelled in a different order beware of them because you are slow of speech and of a slow tongue and whoever wishes to attack
Righteousness is like the great mountain. Your judgments are a great deep tale. 367. Many Mishnah sages wanted to reach down to the depth of the Halacha, which is Malchu called Halacha, to find there that time, namely the time of the coming of the redemption, and went down there, but did not come up. Though their tongue was like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. Your Mayah 2329. Their hammer was too weak and could not pierce that rock, namely pierce it to know about the end. Whoever pierces that rock without permission, a serpent will come to bite him. Others bore it until they reach the great abyss, but do not come up from there. Section 12. Following, we hear about two messiahs who fell into the gulf together with the Shechan Arab Hamnan Asaba tells Moses that he is the one who will repair the pit. He talks about four exiles and four clipot, the fourth of which is called the pit. We hear that the fourth exile is a generation of evil people and that it is empty. Without the Torah, this is how it will be at the end of the exile. We hear that death is poverty of knowledge, and that for Moses' sake, all the Tanaim and Amram above will descend into the deep to help him. 62. And when the gulf is open, whoever falls there does not come up. And Messiah the son of David fell there together with Messiah the son of Joseph, of whom one is humble and riding upon an ass. Zechariah 99. And the other is the firstling of his herd, Devarim 3317, who is Messiah the son of Joseph. This is the meaning of if a man shall dig a pit and not cover it, and an ox or an ass fall into it. Shema 2133. For that reason, Messiah is called the one who fell, and she, namely the Shechinah, fell with them. And of her it says, The virgin of Israel is fallen, she shall no more rise. Amos 52. And you faithful shepherd are the owner of the pit, shall make it good, and give money to the owner of them, and the dead beast shall be his. Shema 2134. The dead refers to Messiah the son of Joseph. That will be killed. 63. The beginning is missing. Descended for his sake. For surely there were four exiles, three corresponding to the three nutshells. The first is without form, Hetohu, which is a green line, namely the green shell of the nut. The second is void, Hetbohu, which is viscous stones, which are strong boulders from which the Mishnah sages legislated some decrees, and they hold onto them since water will come out of them. The third clip is the thick shell of the nut, which is the third exile that was short. This is darkness. The fourth exile is a great abyss, which is the space inside the nut. This is darkness was on the face of the deep. Bear she 1264. The fourth clip of the deep is called the pit where an ox has fallen. This is why it is written of Joseph. The first ling of his herd grandeur is his. Devarim 3317, of whom it says, and they cast him into a pit. Bear she 3724, which is the evil female of the clipper, and the pit was empty, but is the male of the clipper, which is. Empty without Torah that is called water but there are snakes and scorpions in it. This is the fourth exile which is empty without Torah which is a generation of evil people filled with snakes and scorpions that are scoundrels like snakes and who are scorpions have them since they uprooted have the words of the sages and give false sentence of them. It says her adversaries have become the chief each of 1565 and he looked this way and that and when he saw that there was no man. Shema 212 of Israel among the wicked of that generation but that they are the mixed multitude this will be at the end of exile and because of that the end the coming of the exile bores all the way to the great abyss which is the fourth exile called the great abyss faithful shepherd you came down there Tihaming abyss is Hamavet and the death spelled backwards and death is no other than poverty that is poverty and knowledge it has been clarified up high before the Tanaim and Amram that. They will all descend for your sake into the deep in the fourth exile to help you. Section 13 The Leviathan Rabham Nanisabah tells Moses that he is the Leviathan of the Sea of the Torah, the master of all fishes. The sages of the mission have stated that the Torah is maintained only by those who are willing to die for it. And part of the meaning here is that death is poverty. In response to Moses' query about the Leviathan, Rabbi Shimon answers that is it he whose grade is. The central pillar, a righteous man who grows in the Sea of Supernalayame, where God is unified through the SHMA and the prayer, blessed be Moses, says that the world is supported by that Leviathan 66, and you support yourself by your sages' statement more than all of them, since you are the Leviathan of the Sea of the Torah, for the master of all fishes is called Leviathan, named after the Torah, of which it says, For there are graceful garland head for your head, Mishlei 18 by you, Hashem. You preserve man and beast. Talim 367 of man, namely Typhoret. It has been said when a man dies in a tent, be midbar 1914, and the sages of the mission have stated that the Torah is maintained only by whoever is willing to die for it. Death being no other than poverty, beast refers to the ignorant who are submissive like horses and mules to the sages of the mission. 67. In the meantime, the holy luminary Rabbi Shimon came, the faithful shepherd opened and said, Mission sages, who is the Leviathan? The holy luminary answered him, It is he whose great is the central pillar and a righteous man of whom it says that we consider his body Typhoret and member of the covenant. Yes, it is one, and he grows in that sea which is Supernaliyame, namely Bina, which is a sea where the holy one, blessed be he, is unified in 25 and 25 letters in SH Ma Yisrael, and in blessed be the numerical value of which is that of Yemang that is 50, and who is in it being in that sea that is Bina, the faithful. Shepherd said surely this Leviathan stands on the beach and the world is poised on his fins as this Leviathan is the righteous is an everlasting foundation Mishlei 1025 the holy luminary said blessed is your portion faithful shepherd section 14 and the betrothed maiden cried out but there was none to save her as the beginning of the section is missing the meaning is not entirely clear but it begins by talking about the daughter of sound Malchut who is in temporary exile until Moses will come for her the title verse means that the Shechinah cries out for her children Israel but there is no one to save them until the Savior comes we learn that when the tablets were broken the Shechinah fell and we are also told that the mixed multitudes cannot separate from Israel until the final redemption Moses is said to be God's son the central pillar we hear about the joy that will be known at the time of redemption and about the destroyer anger and wrath that are in the world now 68 the beginning is missing echo lit daughter of sound which is Malchut is in exile until you come for her since you are her sound since Malchut is the secret of speech Moses Zeir Anpin is the sound in speech and speech is the daughter of sound it is called daughter since every wife is a daughter to her husband as written took her for his own daughter Esther 27 she is therefore called daughter of sound she is betrothed to you since you have not come under the Chippa which is redemption with her 69 it is said and the betrothed maiden cried out but there was none to save her Devarim 2227 so does the Shechinah the highest mother cry for her children who are Israel but there is none to save them and take them out to redeem them until the central pillar Zeir Anpin will come for her who is the savior for her it is said behold our king comes to you he is just and victorious Zechariah 99 he is savior above and you below and since you have his form of Zeir and it is said of you, but as for you stand here by me, Devarim 528, all Israel return to their tents, but you do not until the final redemption who caused that the mixed multitude because of whom he threw the tablets out of his hands. Shema 3220, from that time the Shechinah fell and was not redeemed from the mixed multitude of whom it says, and a mixed multitude went up also with them. Shema 1238, nevertheless they do not separate from Israel and the maidservant does not separate from her mistress until the final redemption. 70, you are the king's son, according to your example we deduced about the central pillar in all things your joy shall be like its joy when it will come to redeem the Shechinah which is like a bridegroom coming out of his chamber. Talim 196, for her garments in exile are dark and when she wears them she says, do not gaze upon me because I am black. Sure, Hashirim 16, they are the clip destroyer anger and wrath which are Shesed, Bura, and Tiferet. Of the clipot, namely the male of the clipper that includes them, is evil female is an evil maidservant. She is Shabtai and Saturn, of whom it says, and a handmaid that is heir to her mistress, Mishlei 3023, who is Queen Shabbat, destroyer anger and wrath, which are Shesed, Bura, and Tiferet. Of the clippers around the three patriarchs who are Shesed, Bura, and Tiferet, of holding a section 15, a crown on his head, and a beautiful tree before him. We learned that the Shechinah used to be the crown, the yet on top of Hay Bob Hay, until she reverted to be below it. 71. Moreover, the king's daughter, the Shechinah, used to be yet on top of Hay Bob Hay, that are included in the patriarchs. First, Hay and Abraham, who is Shesed, and second, Hay and Isaac,
was buried in a strange land. Seventy-two rise faithful shepherd take the stone which is malchute in your hand of which it says upon one stone are seven facets sekar yah twenty-nine in order to break the shells clipot of the nut for many shepherds leaders of the generation were gathered by that stone which is your rock to bring water out of it since your bride malchute is a fount of chakma in this river that is flowing with Torah and infinite hidden secrets it says of it but where shall wisdom be found? Yo 2812 73 their whole power is effective in removing the outer shell when they reach the second shell which is strong they find it difficult and strike it all their lives with their tongues that are as strong as hammers but they have no permission to bring water out of it except for those drops that came out through you when it said of it and with his rod he smote the rock twice be midbar 2011 at the second smiting these drops came out there are the illusions of wisdom and the illusions of the wisdom of Kabbalah which are in tractate Chagita and other Mishnah no one can bring forth from this stone wisdom that is inside it which is infinite except you of whom it says Halachah given to Moses on Sinai 74 the faithful shepherd opened and said old man there is a rock and there is a rock there is a stone and there is a stone there is a stone of the name of Yud Hey which rises to Yud of Yud Hey and becomes a crown over Hey of Yud Hey it says of it and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain Daniel 235 since Yud of Yud Hey is the secret of a great mountain and there is a stone that is a figured stone Vayikra 261 of which it says nor shall you install a figured stone in your land to bow down upon it even where there is neither flow of the waters of Chakman nor speech 75 but of the stone which is Moses rock it says and speak to the rock before their eyes and it shall give forth its water Bimidbar. 208 for this rock is a divine echo namely Malchut of Atzala and only speech and reconciliation applies to it but of the handmaid of Malchut of Atzala that is another rock called Mishnah which is a female of the serving lad Metatron it says a servant will not be corrected by words Mishlei 2919 but it is smitten and several decrees are broken of it namely explanations and are gathered which are called compilations they are called compilations because they are gathered without a fount of wisdom or Kabbalah 76 but my rock is the king's daughter namely Malchut of Atzala about which it says and speak to the rock before their eyes and it shall give forth its water namely with words and reconciliation as befitting a king's daughter but since I smote her I was smitten because of her and we were sentenced to death for whoever refuses the queen is punishable by death and all the more so whoever smites the king's daughter because of that I was punished not to enter the land of Israel as the land of Israel corresponds to the king's daughter but instead I am buried in a strange land Malchut being the land of Israel and she is angry with me and it says he went down to him with a staff also tribe 2 Shmuel 2321 this is one of my tribes because I will descend there to be with Israel in exile everything is alluded to and explained in another place by the sages of the Mishnah section 17 the faithful shepherd the son of the king we are told that Moses is man in the likeness of Adam above the speaker appears to be the first man and Rabbi Shimon addresses him and the faithful shepherd telling Moses that his gathering into the world above is spoken of in Bimidbar and the inference is drawn that Moses did not die as other people do we are told that Moses shines on the sages of Halachah and Kabbalah like the sun and also that they are watered in secret from him as though he were a spring 77 the beginning of the article is Missing the following are not the words of the faithful shepherd since the temple and Messiah's name are named after the name Yudhei Bahay and these four letters Yudhei Bahay are the four faces of man and belong to the tribe of Levi since they came out of the living creatures of the rest of the tribes which are the face of a lion, the face of an ox and the face of an eagle and entered the portion of man's face being his four faces as the face of man includes all four faces and Moses is man. Of the likeness of Adam above what is his name I yes, the first man and what is his son's name Mishlei 304 refers to Moses because of that the priests and levites are fed by the king and eat at his table and the rest of the king's armies each give them food in their abode the faithful shepherd is like the king's son who is closer to the king than those who eat at his table for none is closer to the king among all his people than his son 78 the holy luminary Rabbi Shimon rose and said to the speaker old old man through your words your identity is recognized you are the first man what is his name was spoken of you and what is his son's name relates to the faithful shepherd and because the faithful shepherd made new expositions in the Torah you rejoice since a wise son makes a glad father Mishlei 11179 faithful shepherd in this portion you're gathering into that world is mentioned as written go into this Mount Avery Mount Nebo and when you have seen it you shall be gathered to your people as Aaron your brother was gathered Bimidbar 2712 to 13 and in this portion it behooves you to return to the world and live and enter the land of Israel and join in this portion your bride who is the land of Israel namely Malchut of whom it says behold I give to him my covenant of peace Bimidbar 2512 which was his and which he gave to Pinches yet he himself remained not in want this is why the Holy One blessed be he did not say to him descent but rather go live. Ascend into Mount Avarim because from this mountain you shall enter the land of Israel AD and as for what has been said of you but no man knows his grave to this day of Aram 346 woe to those of a closed heart and shut eyes who do not know your burial that you sought mercy before the Holy One blessed be he not to be taken into a burial in which you are considered dead this is the meaning of Moses my servant is dead Yahashua 12 and these fools used to say that Moses was afraid of death like other people of leaving this world into the next they do not know how your burial and death took place 81 for so did the sages of the Mishnah explain that those who die outside the land of Israel are not living they do not say that they shall not live for had they said that they would have denied the resurrection of the dead but there is a great secret here for his Moses burial was in a form not befitting him which is in a dry and thirsty land where no water is Tehillim 632 namely in the wilderness and water is none other than Torah which means the wilderness is a place of Klippot where he had no form nor comeliness Yeshayah 532 and whoever saw him in that form it is said that we should look at him and no countenance that we should desire him but this is why the prophecy of Isaiah that begins with behold my servant shall prosper Yeshayah 5213 alludes to him 82 because of this burial he sought mercy not to die there outside the land of Israel because it was in a dry and thirsty land where no water is which is the Torah thus it says of him go into this Mount Avarim from his lowliness he showed him his loftiness namely though you are buried in a place not befitting you without your garments which are skin and flesh moving and roving from your place wandering and exiled yet pinches with whom you did kindness as it says of you behold I give to him my covenant of peace will be kind to you and in his portion you shall rise that is in it Passage Behold I give to him my covenant of peace for Pinches is Elijah the angel of the covenant who will help Moses connect with the two messiahs to bring Israel out of exile and it is your bride Malchut and there you shall join her like a groom joins his bride 83 for had you not been buried outside the holy land outside your bride Israel would not have come out of exile of you it says but he was wounded Heb Mechalal because of our transgressions Yeshayah 535 becoming not sacred Heb Cold due to the iniquity and transgression of Israel as it says of you and he buried him in the valley of Aram 346 it says of your burial every valley shall be exalted Yeshayah 404 namely all that is lowly shall be exalted for your sake which is Israel who are humbler and lower than any nation and tongue and every mountain and hill shall be made low but are the wicked and the impudent 84 this is the meaning of and by his injuries Heb shall be we are healed Yeshayah 535 namely with the connection Heb Shiver he made with us in exile we are healed for you are like the shining sun since though the sun sets at night it shines on the moon and all the stars and constellations so do you shine upon all the sages of all kinds of Halacha and Kabbalah who are watered in secret from you like a spring that waters the trees under their root unbeknownst until its water breaks into the open this is what is meant by so will your spring be dispersed abroad Mishlei 516 85 4. You are also like the sun that travels during winter underneath the stream secretly and warms them with the time of redemption you shall be like the sun that travels during summer above the springs and they shall be cool without judgment but with mercy for when you are underneath them they are warm with judgment the faithful shepherd approached and blessed the holy lamp saying surely you shine upon me when it says of me because the sun was set Heb Kiva Beershi 2811 which
That reason when Sipurna Lyame whose bana was revealed to you you said I will now turn aside and see this great sight or vision why the bush is not burnt. Shema 33 for since bana is mercy it says of it the bush is not burnt that is that which is called bush will not burn. 87. There are five lights to bana called sun rays since bana is called sun from Shisa to hot and from there from bana to hot they used to shine on you faithful shepherd this gave hot to Moses to let it be known. That all five Sfirat Shisa Bura Tiferet Net Sach and hot gave to you since even hot was given to you this is why the face of Moses is like the face of the sun that is like bana called sun and these five Sfirat amount to the fifty gates of bana since every sphere comprehends ten Sfirat 88 and these five we mentioned which are the five times light mentioned in the first day of creation which is Shisa which correspond to the five fingers of the right hand which is Shisa appear to. You at the bush since you are destined to bring out Abraham's descendants from exile who is the great of right which is Jesus from there but is complete mercy in accordance with the secret of the great hand which is Jesus but from the aspect of Bura called the strong hand its five Sfirat are the secret of five times firmament mentioned in the second day of the works of creation that correspond to the five fingers of the left hand but from your grade which is the central column it says. And the children of Israel went out with the high hand Shemot 148 that corresponds to the body which is the central column including the body the two arms and two legs which are five aspects corresponding to the five fingers in the hand as the three hands are five 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 namely five fingers of the right hand five fingers of the left hand and the two arms two legs and the body which are five together the amount to Yahweh equals fifteen the faithful shepherd said to him blessed are you too. Super Nalayami Bana Yeti Zyadhe the three hands Chisit Bura and Tiferet form for me the last hay for the rod of Elohim which is Bob namely Zeir and Pen namely Yudi Hay which are Chisit Bura and Tiferet build Malchud for Zeir and Pen he said surely it is so 89 the faithful shepherd said to the holy luminary I come to support your words as you said that vision is Bana Yet a vision is to the right since if you calculate the numerical value of in a vision of which it says make myself known to him in a vision had Bimarab Yimidbar 126 you shall find it is in numerical value 248 that is the same numerical value as Abraham which is Chisit the seeing in a vision is Chisit of Zeir and Pen rather than from Bana the holy luminary said to him at first the vision appeared to you of which it says make myself known to him in a vision which is Bana then you said I will now turn aside and see this great sight or vision why the bush is not burnt namely Bana wherein the bush is. Mentioned five times they correspond to the five lights of the right in Bana that illuminate the bush five times which are its five judgments that turn into mercy like Bana this is why the bush did not burn now this vision is revealed to you again with the 248 positive precepts in the five books of the Torah namely the five lights of Chisit of Zeir and Pen called Torah the faithful shepherd rose kissed him and blessed him we should know there are two mirrors or visions the shining mirror that is Zeir and Pen and also Bana as he says here and the non-shining mirror that is Malchut 90 the faithful shepherd said to him holy luminary this vision is at times preceded by the letter Hey the great vision had Bimara and at times by the letter Bet make myself known to him in a vision had Bimara at times by Mem from what appeared had Bimara to be his loins downward Yashiskal 127 at times with CAF the appearance had Kemara of a man above 26 sometimes by Bob and it. Side of Umara of the glory of Hashem Shema 2417 and after the side had Lamara yet it did not need an additional letter at all except Beta Bimara but surely this mirror comprehends ten Sfirat and each letter indicates its sphere namely Kemara with CAF indicates Keter and so on the rest of the letters shows each its own sphere and there is no need to speak here at length a hint would be sufficient to the wise 91 how many apparitions it has how many similes and visions all known through the eye of the mind of the heart which is Malchut of which it says a knowing heart and an understanding heart and the words of the verse and use similes by means of the prophets Hashia 1211 simile is only by means of the mind of the heart which is Malchut and is unlike the imaging of the eye this is what is meant by to whom then will you liken me that I should be as equal Yashia 4025 and to whom then will you liken Elevate 18 there are sites like those of it. Stargazers which are from the other side but a prophetic apparition is like a nightly apparition which is Malchut called night but not of Sfirat higher than her 92 similes and apparitions are like deducing one thing from another likening one thing to another but a vision that is in the mind's eye is like a light that shines on the pupil of the eye which is Malchut since the pupil is black as written I am black sure Hasherim 15 namely the pupil of the eye but comely of it with the white. Light in the eye that shines on the pupil of the eye this pupil of the eyes is called the commandment is a lamp Mishle 623 and the light that shines within it from inside namely the white is and Torah is light of it that is Zeir and that is called Torah 93 the holy luminary said that is what I said that now through the Torah the holy one blessed be he and his Chechen I will reveal to you that is what is meant by I make myself known to him in a vision Bimidbar 126 the vision is. Super Nalayame make myself known means it is known to you through knowledge that which I ask the son of Yudhe namely Zeir and that is Bob of Yudhe Bob Hay and speak to him in a dream Bimidbar 126 refers to last Hay which is the Shechen 94 the dream is with the eyes shut namely Malchut for which reason it is called the non-shining mirror prophecy is a vision with open eyes since the three colors of the eye correspond to the three patriarchs Jesus Bira and Tiferet in which the only daughter which is Malchut namely the people of the eye shines the two sides of the eyes are Netzach and Hot and the vision of prophecy is seen only through them Netzach and Hot when they are open it is a waking vision and when they are shut it is a vision in a dream 95 the faithful shepherd said to him blessed are you to the holy one blessed be he rise and complete the precepts so the supernal vision which is Bina shall shine with them with the precepts towards the holy one blessed be. He the holy luminary said to him that is the people of the eye namely Malchut of which it says for the commandment is a lamp and Torah is light since the commandment is a lamp refers to Malchut and the Torah is light refers to Zeir and Pinchias Hey Bob is Bob shines under on the people of the eye five Sfirat which are the three colors in the eye Chisit Bura and Tiferet and the two sides of the eye Netzach and Hot and five times light shine on the people of the eye from within since they are from Supernal Hay which is Bina which is the light of the Hay vision section 1940 minus one we are told that God will strike Samael 50 times for turning himself into a deity and that Adam and Eve and the serpent and the land were given a total of 39 stripes because they all sinned against the letter Hay 96 40 stripes he may give him and not exceed the Barum 253 this precept is to strike the wicked who is Samael who the Holy One blessed be he will give. 50 stripes for turning himself into a deity let the unification of Kriyat Shema and blessed be that Yisrael meditate on twice a day in the 25 plus 25 letters in them come and strike with them whoever turns himself into a deity and who is nothing but a filthy servant and as for those who sinned against last hey which is Malchut the Holy One blessed be he decreed to strike them with Yod Bob Dalat Hay Alep Bob Alep Bob which are of the numerical value of 40 minus 1 with this name the Holy One blessed be he gave 10 stripes to Adam 10 to Eve 10 to the serpent and 10 to the land which amount to 39 stripes since they all sinned against the letter hey which is Malchut hence it is written because you have done this bare sheet 214 this being a name of Malchut section 20 Levi rate marriage angel it's the section talks about the precept for a man to marry the widow of his childless brother the man must concentrate on unification and not on his own pleasure otherwise he creates a separation and brings a male in between we are told that spilling seed in vain withholds many blessings from a man and it brings separation instead of union 97 if brothers dwell together and one of them die and have no child her husband's brother shall go into her and take her to him to wife devarim 255 this precept is to marry one's brother's widow since a brother's widow is dalit of one hebeshat alafchet dalit and together with alafchet abeshat it is one that is the brother have ach alafchet should meditate on this unifying and if heaven forbid the brother does not with the whole heart wish to bring alafchet to dalit the dalit being the wife and mate of the brother but concentrate on his own pleasure he creates a separation and brings a male another l in between it says of
About the custom in old times concerning redeeming and exchanging where a man pulled off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor this alludes to a change of name a change of place and a change of action we are given the inner meaning of this custom the Shechina does not change when she is with God nor does he change when with her the meaning of the ritual of the shoe is linked to the meaning of Levi marriage as well 99 of Bina the son of Yudhei it says now this was a custom in former times in Israel concerning redeeming and concerning exchanging to confirm all manner of transactions a man pulled off his shoe and gave it to his neighbor Rod 47 this alludes to changing name which is M.E.M. Zadik P.E. Zadik Hirihaya where Hebai is the place of his glory to adore him Yudhei Bob is Hihaya which is a change of place a change in action in Adonai Allah of Adonai is Hihaya Yudhei Adonai is Yudhei Bob and both change in Adonai 100 and this was the manner of Attesting in Yisrael, Rod 47, the attestation is supernal. Iame, who is bind as written, bind up the testimony, seal the Torah among my disciples. Yeshua 816, binding is bind, and since it is written, bind up the testimony, we derive the testimony or attestation is bind, which is the seal of the world, namely the seal of heaven and earth, which are Zeir and Pen and Malchut. Exchanging refers to the lower Shechina, namely Malchut, where did Malchut hide herself in her lab? The angel Metatron and he changed her. There, Malchut is called Mishnah, and a man of whom it says, according to the beauty of a man, that he may remain in the house. Yeshua 4413, it says, you changed Hemeshana his countenance and sent him away. Yehov 1421, this is why the sages of the Mishnah have explained that the way I am spelled is not the way I am pronounced in this world, but spelled Yudhei Bavhe and pronounced Adonai. He asks, yet it is written, I am Hashem, I do not change Malachi 36 and answers it. Is not changed in spelling but is changed in pronunciation since writing indicates it does not change in its place but in reading which is the grade of Malchut called speech when it is outside its place it does change and is pronounced Adonai take heed of him and obey his voice provoke him not for my name is in him Shema 2321 since his handmaid's name is Adonai like the queen's name and the holy one blessed be he is changed in him in Metatron because he is allowed in him is the mystery of he shall return to the days of his youth Eo 3325 102 but the Shechina when with the holy one blessed be he does not change nor does the holy one blessed be he change when with her this is the meaning of I am Hashem I do not change I is the Shechina Yudhei Bavhe is the central pillar namely Zeir and Ben a man pulled off his shoe refers to sandal phone who is a sandal by the holy one blessed be he and a shoe by the Shechina but Tiferet that includes six is a body to the name. Yod Hei Bavhe and Malchut is a body to the Sheshanah that is Adonai 103 then shall his brother's wife approach him in the presence of the elders and lose his shoe from off his foot and spit in his face to Barim 259 it is a precept to perform shalitza it is a loosening of of the spirit from that body to which he needs to connect as a brother and marry his wife he releases him from the brother's tie and the widow needs him no longer that spirit of the dead that is separated from his brother through the shalitza goes away and wanders until it is redeemed this is what is meant by either his uncle or his uncle's son may redeem him or any that is near of kin to him Vayai Kra 2549 but if he finds not his means suffice he may redeem himself if it and he needs to wait until he acquires enough for his own redemption and the spirit of the dead is like a guest going from place to place or like a servant walking with a chain around his neck until he achieves redemption. From his master from his iniquities namely by means of reincarnation woe to him who did not leave a son who will redeem him section 22 one who acts with piety to his master we are told that a prisoner cannot release himself from prison and the faithful shepherd says that god regards one who prays and does charity and occupies himself with torah to have redeemed him and his children from among the heathen nations stress is placed on the necessity to meditate only on redeeming the sheshana from exile elijah and the heads of the yeshiva tells moses that he is the son of the king and queen and that his worship is done with the love of a son who will risk his life for his parents sakes the faithful shepherd prostrates himself before god and says that even though he has nothing to offer him still god desires the heart of man to be willing to do anything for him next god comes to bless and kiss the faithful shepherd and says that he is indeed his son 104 Elijah and heads of the Yeshiva listen it is indicated here that a prisoner cannot release himself from prison for his Eir and is tied by the knot of the hand Tephilin and bound by the head Tephilin when he has no son namely a man who will worship the Holy One blessed be he not for the sake of receiving a reward who is called a son to the Holy One blessed be he who will redeem him through the aspect of the son of Yudhei that is if he who puts on Tephilin is not a chariot to the son of Yudhei who is Eir and namely if he does not meditate on pleasing his maker like a son who works for his father not to receive a reward and by that knot of Tephilin the Holy One blessed be he is a tied and bound brother who has no permission to redeem himself he being Dalit of Eshad which is itself or is the bone of Allah and Shed of Eshad which is Eir and Eir and called it bone of my bones bear she 223 in the skull where the head Tephilin is put and called it flesh of my flesh should be from the aspect of the heart 105 not in vain did the Holy One blessed be he say that whoever is occupied with the Torah and charity and prays with the congregation I regard him as if he redeemed me and my children from among the heathen he asks yet many people are occupied in the Torah and charity and pray with the congregation yet the Holy One blessed be he and his Shechina are not redeemed and he answers that the meaning is he should study Torah in order to unite the Shechina with the Holy One blessed be he and not for any other purpose as for charity we have explained that a chaste and pious man is a man who acts with kindness chaste with his maker which means that all the commandments he performs are done in order to redeem through their merit the Shechina from exile and not for any other purpose by that he acts with piety with the Holy One blessed be he and is called pious 106 whoever is charitable with the Shechina to bring her out of exile is charitable with the Holy One blessed be he since when Israel sinned and the Holy One blessed be he wanted to afflict them I am a namely the Shechina brooded over them and stopped the Holy One blessed be he from afflicting them this was so until they fell into bad ways the Holy One blessed be he then exiled the king's children namely Israel together with the queen who is the Shechina and swore he shall not return to his place until the queen returned to hers thus a man who is charitable with the Shechina and repents and in all her Torah and precepts meditates only on redeeming the Shechina from exile acts with piety towards his maker and it is as if he redeemed him and his Shechina and his children from exile 107 said Elijah and all the heads of the Yeshiva faithful shepherd you are that man you are the son of the king and the queen whose worship to the Holy One blessed be he is not even that of one who is pious with his maker but that of a son who is obliged to gird himself and his Strength to redeem his father and mother and risk his life for their sakes for whoever is not the son of the king yet acts with kindness by the king and queen surely is regarded thus that he acts with kindness with his maker but you who are the son of the king for you it is a duty rather than kindness 108 the faithful shepherd rose and prostrate himself before the holy one blessed be he wept and said may it please him to regard me as a son that my doings towards the holy one blessed be he and his Shechina will be considered by them as those of a son who strives to do them for his father and mother whom he loves more than he loves himself his own nefesh rash and neshama whatever he has he regards as not so as to do with them his father's and mother's wishes and redeem them through them and though i know everything is his domain and i have nothing to offer him yet the merciful desires the heart of man to be willing to do anything at that time the holy one blessed be he came to him kissed him and he said faithful shepherd you are indeed my son and the son of the Shechina sages and angels kissed the son they all rose and kissed him and accepted him as a rabbi and king over them section 23 cutting off the seed of Amalek the faithful shepherd talks about Amalek and how the names of Balaam and Balak are marked in it he tells us of the four facets of Israel Jacob and Rachel and Israel and Leah and says that these correspond to the four faces of the eagle similarly there are four facets to Amalek divination enchantment iniquity and perverseness Amalek above is a male whose facets tempt people to sin against God 109 therefore it shall be when Hashem your Elohim has given you receive you shall blot out the remembrance of Amalek Devarim 2519 for the holy one blessed be he has sworn
Similarly, there are four facets to Amalek which are divination, enchantment, iniquity, and perverseness. The letters of iniquity Hebamal are present in Amalek, and of Haman who descended from Amalek, it says his mischief Hebamal shall return upon his own head. Tehillim 717, and all the chiefs of Esau came from Amalek. Amalek above is Samael who has four of their facets which are iniquity, enchantment, perverseness, and deceit. They tempt man to sin against the Holy One. Blessed be he, divination Hebkezim. His cup of Amalek poison have Sam from Samael enchantment is L of Samael the end is missing section 24 one must not start anything on Monday or Wednesday we learn of the astrological reasons for not starting anything on a Monday or Wednesday both the children of Israel and the children of Ishmael calculate according to the moon but Israel are attached to its good part and the children of Ishmael to its evil part we are told that the dominion of both Saturn and Shabbat is on the seventh day the day of rest people should not start things on Mondays or Wednesdays because Gehenom was created on the second day and the eclipse of the luminaries on the fourth day 112 regarding it Abraham was told get you out of your country and from your kindred and from your father's house Bereshit 121 namely from your nativity which is the astrology of stars and constellations from those houses of the moon of Saturn or Mars since it says of Mars Saturn and it Moon that one must not start things on Monday and Wednesday because Mars has in itself the redness of the sun which indicates Gehenna Esau's mother who was born on the second day of the works of creation which is why we do not start on Monday the moon is both good and evil good when it shines fully and evil when it is in its days of wane 113 since the moon comprehends good and evil Israel calculate according to it and the children of Ishmael calculate according to it Israel are attached to its good part and the children of Ishmael to its evil part when it is eclipsed during its fullness which is its good part it is a bad sign for Israel and when it is eclipsed during its waning it is a bad sign for the Ishmaelites of it it is written for the wisdom of their wise men shall perish Isaiah 2914 namely the wisdom of the Ishmaelites and the understanding of their prudent men shall be hid because they do not know about the creation of the stars but of their customs According to changes in the world and their calculation, the moon was created on the fourth day of the works of creation, and when it is waning, when there is poverty, Lilith was created, who is Saturn, which is hunger and thirst, and the eclipse of the luminaries. It says of her, Let there be lights, have me or Bear sheet 114, spelled without Bob, which means a curse is written, the curse have me or of Hashem is in the house of the wicked, Mishlei 333, and also, but the sinner shall be caught by her. Kahilat 726, and the righteous shall escape from her, but this is why we do not start things on Wednesday 114. There is another star, which is a small dot over the moon, which is a luminary. This is the dot Kolam called the king's daughter, Queen Shabbat, and the dominion of both Saturn have Shabtai and Shabbat is on the seventh day of which it says that your manservant and your maidservant may rest. Devarim 514, for the order of their creation is not like the order of calculation. This is why the Sun and Mars which are red and of the aspect of Gehenom were created on the second day of the works of creation and the moon and Saturn were created on the fourth day of the works of creation since Saturn indicates hunger and darkness this is why we do not start on Monday or Wednesday since Gehenom was created on the second day and the eclipse of the luminaries on the fourth day section 25 and a handmaid that is heir to her mistress we are told that the sages of Mishnah disagree regarding the giving of the Torah one thinking that it was given on the third day and another thinking that it was given on the seventh day the stars and the moon and the sun and the planets are brought in to clarify the argument we learn that there are twelve constellations from the good side and twelve from the evil side lastly we are told that the wicked are the forefathers of impurity and that an evil man is considered to be dead 115 of the star it says there shall come a star out of Jacob Bimidbar 2417 which is the central column its grade is in the third day of the works of creation and it says of it and it came to pass on the third day in the morning Shemot 1916 in which the Holy One blessed be he descended to give the Torah to Israel the Torah being an only daughter namely Malchut to be with it with the third day which is Tiferet as Queen Shabbat for the third day includes the three branches of the patriarchs namely the three branches of Shin which are Chesed Bira and Tiferet and the only daughter which is Malchut whose dominion is on Shabbat he becomes Shabbat in it in the third day because Shabbat is composed of the letter Shin plus Bat and daughter in which Shin alludes to the three Sfirah Chesed Bira and Tiferet which are attached to the daughter Malchut 116 this is why the Mishnah sages disagree regarding the giving of the Torah which is an only daughter one said the Torah was given on the third day and another said it was Given on the seventh day since she is an only daughter attached to the central pillar which is the third of the patriarchs namely Tiferet according to which the Torah was given on the third day and Malchut is attached to the righteous who is Yezid namely the sixth day and the only daughter who is Malchut is seventh to him and when she is a crown over his head she is considered seventh with regard to him as Yezid is sixth and his planet is Jupiter Hephzedek and the only daughter queen. Shabbat is called righteousness Hephzedek and hence the Torah Malchut is attached between the third day and the seventh day some therefore say that the Torah was given on the third day and some say the Torah was given on the seventh 117 and she Malchut is CAF bed of the star Hakosh of CAF bed CAF Bob CAF Bob of the star is the numerical value of Yudhi Bob according to the secret of four Hashem Elohim is a sun and shield Tehillim 8412 the Sheshanah is Malchut of holiness of whom Says by you have Bishabet CAF Shal Yisrael Bless Bershi 4820 being CAF Bet of the Star and she is the secret of the CAF Bet 22 letters of the Torah A star includes three grades CAF of Koshab is Kitab Bet is Bana CAF Bob of Koshab which is Yudhe Bob A includes both and is Chakma the star includes everything including also the grade of the central pillar which is CAF Bob of Mercury that has the same numerical value as Yudhe Bob A it incorporates the Sheshanah who is CAF Bet of Koshab is said before 118 she the Sheshanah is called the moon head Levana namely clarification head Levana of the Halasha which is mercy from the aspect of Chisa she is also called the sun clear as the sun from the aspect of Bure the face of Moses being as the face of the sun a waning moon is a dark moon her handmaid of Malchut that is Gehenom and an evil sun also her handmaid is Saturn which is the eclipse of the luminaries and the desecration of Shabbat she is a handmaid that turns. Her back on her mistress Malchut every day and overcomes her because of the iniquities of Israel her children this is the meaning of and a handmaid that is heir to her mistress Mishlei 3023 the handmaid rules mainly on the second day in which Gehenom was created and on the fourth day where the luminaries became defective from them she came to rule every day 119 the king's daughter who is Malchut is bound by ropes that is just as the adhesions of the lungs stop the air from the lungs so do. The iniquities of Israel stop the life from Malchut in prison in her exile she is a nest to Samael among the stars that is Samael is attached to her and the Holy One blessed be he swears though you do soar aloft like the eagle and though you do set your nest among the stars from there I will bring you says Hashem Ovidiah 14 and the Shechanah is called Venus Hebnoga is written the fire was bright Hebnoga Yesh is called 113 hence the synagogue is called the bright fire in a foreign tongue. 120 The fire of Mars had my Adamias red since my Adiam derives from redness Hebodom according to the secret of the first row shall be a ruby Hebodom a chrysolite and a barrel Shema 2817 Venus is a white fire and both are the face of the sun the face of the moon Netzach and Had receive the whiteness from Chesed and the redness from Bure Aaron and David came from there one received mercy and the other received judgment David came from the left side as written now he was ruddy Ishmuel 1612 Aaron is a man of Chesed and the two true prophets namely Netzach and Had are from them the face of Moses used to shine with prophecy from Bino which is the supernal sun whence his prophecy came 121 in them he saw the wicked the servant Ias called Edom and his female Ias called Mars which is bloodshed in Israel she caused it to be fulfilled in the queen he has made me desolate and faint have Deva all the day each 113 Had turned into Deva since they correspond to Netzach and Had I am. Not able to rise up if 14 corresponds to Netzach and faint all the day corresponds to Hot. They are Jachin and Boaz Netzach being Jachin and Boaz Hot on both
buried who are dead dogs vermin of bad smell and filthy and who became foul through her who is the adhesion attached to the mixed multitude that are mixed in Israel and who is attached to the bones and flesh that are the children of Esau and Ishmael who are dead bone and unclean meat meat that is torn by beasts in the field of which it says you shall cast it to the dogs Shema 2230 124 just as there are 12 constellations from the good side so there are 12 constellations from the evil side this is what is meant by 12 princes according to their nations Beershi 2516 since the Elohim has made the one as well as the other Kahilat 714 and the wicked are the forefathers of impurity being made impure by the dead and by vermin who causes one to be unclean by their space their inside their back and even their innermost parts by which the priest becomes unclean this is why neither shall he go into any dead body Vayikra 2111 since the evil man is considered dead and the holy luminary even not defile himself for his father or for his mother of it section 26 Elijah do not tarry in coming down Elijah is implored to come down quickly because God and his Shechinah are in exile and the faithful shepherd is buried among the wicked awaiting release he begs Elijah to come with the celestial angels and he speaks about the vessels of the Shechinah that are holy angels above in Israel below if there are people of good qualities. Malchut spreads over them with her tents fire and the cause of causes descends upon her next rabbi Shimon beseeches God to take note of the faithful shepherd who is worth 600,000 people of Israel and who embodies all ten attributes he reminds God that he promised he would not destroy the world for the sake of ten righteous people finally rabbi Shimon asks Elijah to swear an oath to reveal Moses to all the leaders of the Mishnah sages so they will recognize him and he will no longer have to bear. The burden of the sins of Israel he says that God will thank Elijah for doing this 125 I have found remedy here to that of which it says for they made his grave among the wicked Yeshayah 539 since this is a burial site for Abba and Iameh who are Zeir and Ben and Malchut who are in exile with Israel the verse was fulfilled in me not defile himself Vayikra 2111 Elijah do not tarry in coming down for though you are a priest pinches being Elijah such may be defiled for his father or for his mother for the holy one blessed be he and his Shechanah are in exile they being Abba and Iameh to whom exile is a grave and I am buried among them an oath upon you by the name of the living enduring Hashem do not tarry in coming down holy winged angels an oath upon you take this oath which is the secret of Malchut that is called an oath and raise her the queen upon your wings with her glory to the holy one blessed be he 126 celestial angels sent by the holy one blessed be he from the right. Side his angels messengers from the left and angels of Abba and Iameh who are Zeir and Pen and Malchut which are the central column shall hide her Malchut above and below and cover her with the letter Vav which is Zeir and Pen with his six wings of whom it says Seraph stood above him each one had six wings with two he covered his face Yeshayah 62 of his oath which is Hey the fourth letter of Yud Hey Vav Hey namely Malchut and with two he covered his feet a bit of Malchut and with two they cause her to fly to Zeir and Pen 127 and you Elijah who have risen to the cause of causes who loaded you with every goodness go down to her to Malchut and be a cherub under her to bring her down filled with goodness and the angels of Abba and Iameh who are Yud Hey shall cover her during your descent and make her fly with six wings of the six letters Allah Petkimol Yud Tav Zedek and the thirty six letters in the six names derived from Allah Petkimol Yud Tav Zedek which are Kuf Fresh I and Sin Tetnan None. Gimel Dalit Yud C A F Shin Bet Tet Rosh Zedek Tav Gimel Chet K U F Bet Tet Nan I N Yud Gimel Lamet P E Z N K U F Shin K U F Bav Zedek Yud Tav The numerical value of which is thirty six. Surely Seraph stood above him had low length Bav namely with the above mentioned Lamet Bav thirty six letters and his hate descends namely Malchut hidden and covered by them and angels coming from the righteous the life of the world support her over you like the living creatures that support the throne one hundred and twenty eight for the Hey of that's a lot of the name Yud Hey Bav Hey which is Malchut supports everything you must not fly up and down except with her with Malchut just like the body parts cannot move except with the soul so do her parts namely her Sfirot expand over you to support you with them for such is Hey like the sea if it has vessels to fill they are filled from it and it spreads within them like streams that spread from the sea onto the earth if it does not have vessels it is Hey only alone without the expansion of Streams 129 such are the vessels of the Shechinah which above are holy angels and below are Israel if there are people of good qualities among them kind pious and mighty learned in the Torah the prophets and the writings righteous people of Malchut of whom it says and such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace Daniel 14 namely during the Amidalit standing prayer in the king's palace which is Adonai whose king is Yudhav Avhav if they are wise and intelligent leaders of Israel not leaders of the mixed multitude of whom it says her adversaries have become the chief each of the team and she Malchut spreads over them with her tents fire at that time the cause of causes descends upon her with Yudhav Dalit Hey Allah Bab Allah Allah to establish the Shechinah on them 130 when he looked this way and that and when he saw that there was no man Shema 212 she says for why should I be like one who cloaks himself Sher Hashirim 17 namely wrapping herself and not expanding over them and the Holy One blessed be he cries aloud for her saying how does the city sit solitary each 11 131 as he was speaking the Holy Luminary Rabbi Shimon rose and said master of the universe here is the faithful shepherd of whom it says now the man Moses was very meek Bimidbar 123 until this moment he saw that there was no man but here the man Moses is equivalent to 600,000 of Israel and in him from the place of his habitation he looks to 3314 it initials of which form the word Moses of whom it says in relation to the last exile and Hashem has caused the iniquity of us all to fall upon him Yeshayah 536 he comprehends the ten attributes for which you said I will not destroy it for the sake of the ten Beersheet 1832 go down over him to oversee the world and fulfill your words that you are true and that all your words are true 132 for he acted kindly by the Shechinah and tied her handmaid to Bureau so the handmaid shall be bound under her mistress with the knot of Hephilim and he endeavored for her sake with the Torah of truth as written the Torah of truth was in his mouth Malachi 26 and he strove in it in the prophets and the writings in the prophets in different kinds of comforts and in the writings which are Malchut in ten kinds of psalms which are her tents fire in the righteous which is Yezid in the eighteen blessings in the Amid of prayer 133 but the sages of the Mishnah do not know the faithful shepherd. Elijah oath upon you in the name Yahweh Vahe and in the explicit name reveal him to all the leaders of the Mishnah sages so they will recognize him and he shall no more be violated but he was wounded or violated because of our transgressions Yeshayah 535 you do not have to receive permission from the Holy One blessed be he because I am a messenger from the master of the universe and I know that if you do that the Holy One blessed be he will thank you for it and your descendants shall be exalted for it above and below do not tarry in doing it neither a week nor a month nor a year but do it immediately section 27 Pesach Chamets and Matzah we read of the importance of keeping the precepts about food and drink including most importantly the restriction on leaven during Pesach the conclusion is that any deed below causes damage above 134 faithful shepherd when the night of watchfulness which is the Shechinah has power over the vessels of Pesach. Everybody should be guarded kept from shamats and any kind of leaven every food and drink should be washed and whoever keeps them from shamats and leaven his body is kept from the evil inclination below and his soul is kept from above and it says of it nor shall evil dwell with you Tehillim 55 for his body becomes holy and his soul the holy of holies and it says of the evil inclination no stranger shall eat of the holy thing Vayikra 2210 and the stranger that comes near shall be put to death Bimidbar 151 135 Pesach is the right arm which is Abraham namely Jesus refined silver whoever mixes lead in it is false to it similarly for anyone who mixes shamats or leaven at all in the matzah it is as if he is false to the king's coin which is Malchut called matzah so is whoever mingles any admixture into his drop of semen by forbidden intercourse or by thinking of someone else as if he is false to the king's seal which is yes for they are interdependent the deed below Causes damage above section 28 head and
namely those derived from Metatron who have not yet merited to be children to male and female of Atsala who are bound and tied by the Tephilin under your master's authority for that reason though you are a servant to your master you are a king over all the ministers of the other people's king over all the angels a king of whom all demons and their legions are afraid who brought that about your being a stool for your master's feet you serve your master as Shade of the Mezuzah from outside. Guarding the entrance Yudhei Bavhei who is your master is inside and Shade who is an aspect of Metatron is outside 138 it is so that Metatron is Shade when the Holy One blessed be he descends to Briah to rule over the tree of knowledge of good and evil good being Metatron and evil Samael who is a devil the king of demons Metatron is an angel the king of angels but from the aspect of the tree of life the name Shade is Yezid of Atsala this is why below in Briah there are two a Servant and his master the servant is Shade outside and his master is Yudhei Bavhei inside and they are not unified into one and above in Atsala Tiferet and Yezid are one since we consider the body and the member of the covenant as one the central column and the righteous namely Tiferet and Yezid 139 just like the head Tephilin are Mokin above, above Tiferet that is the tree of life in Atsala and Malchut is the hand Tephilin so it is below in the tree of life in Briah from it. Aspect of the supernal throne by Abriah there is the head Tephilin of Metatron and his hand Tephilin are the lower throne namely Malchut Abriah of this the prophet says a glorious throne exalted from the beginning Yermea 1712 140 but from the aspect of the tree of knowledge of good and evil the evil inclination is bound under the good inclination by the knot of Tephilin like a servant under his master by the sound of Torah the sound of prayer and the sound of the shofar since a sound uttered for performing a precept is like a spear in relation to its stabbing and killing the evil inclination such as the sound of the shofar which is the sound of the central pillar namely Zeir and which includes fire water and air which are the three patriarchs Bira Chesed and Tiferet that have Hayyad Bob in them Hay and Abraham and Yud and Isaac namely Hay in the name Abraham alludes to judgment and Yud in the name Isaac alludes to Chesed in judgment wherever Hay rules over Yud. Namely written before Yud it is judgment this is Hayyad of Elohim namely the Mokin of the name Elohim these Hay Yud are the secret of the fire and water in the shofar and this is why Elohim is gone up with the shout Tehillim 476 Bob of and Bob the Elohim of Jacob is the wind of the shofar namely Tiferet the Shechanah is the vessel that receives all three fire water and air of the shofar and is the Hay of the word Hashofar section 29 10 sounds of the shofar. This section begins by reiterating the statement that blowing the shofar has an effect on evil like spears and swords but the part following this paragraph is missing after that we read about the effect of Israel reciting the SH and how this links them to the Shechanah 141 there are 10 sounds of the shofar which are Tikiya SH Verum Tiru Tikiya Tikiya SH Verum Tikiya Tikiya Tiru Tikiya in which Hay Aleph Yod Bob Dalit Bob Aleph Bob Hay Aleph are clothed all these letters towards the other aspects and towards the evil are like chains and spears and swords one blow is a chain and the two blows are accomplished by 10 sounds of the shofar and are one the continuation is missing 142 it says of it and the mother bird sitting upon the young Devarim 226 Israel chirp to her with many chirps of prayers but she does not want to descend to them Israel then take the mother with them who is the Shechanah and tie her by the knot of Tephilin and when they reach Riyat SH Maher Children call the six words of the declaration of unity which are Hero Yisrael Hashem our Elohim Hashem is one Devarim 64 they then go down to their mother the Shechanah and tie themselves to her by means of the meditation of blessed be the name this is the meaning of which you shall proclaim they I cross 232 this is her duty of matrimony namely her time of mating is written which you shall proclaim to be holy gatherings or appointed times meaning during my time of mating. Section 30 Rosh Hashanah Vesat Shavuot and Sukkot Rabbi Shimon tells us how each festival uses its own kind of item like the matzah and the lala for example to draw the mokin of Zir and Pinta Malchut by these rituals Malchut is raised up to thought that is the explicit name Yadhei Bob Hefali spelled with Aleph 143 in the same manner we call upon the mokin from Zeir and Pinta shine during their time of mating on the Shechanah in the matzah which is summoned for the seven. Days of Pesach thus we summon for the seven days of Sukkot the seven kinds which are the Lalav the Atrog the three branches of Myrtle and two branches of Willow on Shavuot we call the Mokin of Zeir and Pin by the Torah Rosh Hashanah is the day of judgment each uses its own kind 144 whoever called namely Drew Mokin from Zeir and Pin to Malchut each grade with its own kind the words shall be fulfilled in him and have AZ equals H shall you call and Hashem shall answer Yeshea 589 AZ is the seven days of Sukkot together with one day of Shemini Atzeret AZ is the Matzah and the seven days of Pesach AZ is one Sukkot together with the seven kinds of the Lalav which are three branches of Myrtle two branches of Willow Lalav and Atrog when included in the four kinds namely Myrtle Willow Lalav and Atrog there together with the seven particulars 11 which is the numerical value of Havav Halal should be recited over them with Halal Yuyah in it namely Yuyah to complete the name. Yod Hei 145 Malchut is raised by the four kinds up to thought which is Chakma this is the meaning of I will go up Hebi into the palm tree Sher Hasherim 710 Eli is a mark namely the initial of Atrag Arab and Willow Lalab and Hadis and Myrtle and thought is the explicit name namely Yod Hei Bob Hei fully spelled with Aleph which is Chakma of Zeir and Pen which has 10 letters Yod Hei Bob Dalit Hei Aleph Bob Aleph Bob Hei Aleph which together with the four kinds reaches. The number 14 like the 14 joints in the right hand of Zeir and Pen which is Chesed with which one should take the Lalab the giving of the Torah namely Shabbat is 7 within 7 namely 7 days in 7 weeks which amount to the number of 14 which is the high hand Hebi equals 14 the secret of the central column as shall be explained on Rosh Hashanah there are also 14 the sound of the Shofar together with its three particulars which are fire air and water are four. And with the ten sounds of the shofar as we explained before our 14146 on Pesach the Shechanah is the great hand from the aspect of Chesed on Rosh Hashanah she is the mighty hand from the aspect of Bura at the giving of the Torah she is a high hand from the aspect of the central column which is Tiferet three times 14 equal 42 and together with the three patriarchs Chesed, Bura and Tiferet from whom they derive they equal 45 the number of Yod Vav Dalet Hey Aleph Bav Aleph Vav Hey Aleph blessed is Hashem forever and ever may Hashem reign forever and ever.